Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So you guys see from a thumbnail and from the title, we have the confirmed Ultimate Legends dropping tomorrow. Before we jump into any of the players, remember to stay up to date with their challenges and try to collect, I believe, 125 of these collectibles for the ULs to get a fancy pack where you guys can get one for free. And that one player in the pack will be auctionable. So stay, you know, tuned to that and stay updated with that. And let's jump into the player. So let me know down below before anything else, will you guys pick up any of these players, yes or no? And I'm going to keep it real. On my personal squad, if they're good, I'm going to try to pick them up. If they're not, they're not going to make the cut. Our first player is tight end Vernon Davis. This guy's good. Already 98 speed, 97 short running, 98 medium wrap running. So our first confirmed player is really good. Our second one is Devin Hester, wide receiver. The fastest stock wide receiver in the game, or one of the fastest. He has 99 speed, 97 short, 95 medium and 99 deep route running expect him to be one of the best punt returner kick returners in the game but so far our first two players aren't bad at all let's jump to the next player and see how it is antonio cromati why did i say like that antonio cromati there you go 98 overall slot archer type so 98 speed basically an end game card if you guys are running any legends team team or if you guys have that collectible from the free agency that gives everybody on offense and defense plus one if you don't know Go get that one collectible. It's really good. 98 man, 98 zone, and 99 press. One of the best corners that will be dropping tomorrow. I'm actually happy he's dropping tomorrow just because I do want to pick up some of the new corners that I dropped earlier. Like I was saying, I do want to pick up some of the players from the Madden Honors, and I do want to complete the set to trade in two and get three. I feel like that's a really good deal. Only problem is it is BMD, so you guys better make sure you guys want that player but by far, Antonio is going to help their price go down. Not by a lot, maybe like 50K or 100K. But Antonio is really good. Expect a pack opening tomorrow. Hoping that we pull something good and TVPs. Because tomorrow in the TVP is going to be Steve McNair. I'm not happy about this. If you guys don't know, EA, they're smart, right? Since it's been a couple weeks since we had that, you know, LTD glitch in the TVP. And each time since then, Whenever they're picking an LTD player, it's never, you know, a top three player in the game. Now, that's my personal opinion, but let me know. Will you guys pick up Steve, yes or no? But 94 speed and the rest of the card is really good. Really, really good on any theme team, especially the Titans. So, he's our first confirmed LTD player dropping tomorrow. Who's our second one? Mike Verbal. Man, I'm not excited about this. Second LTD left outside linebacker, 94 speed, 98 block shedding. 97 power move and 90 finesse move. If you guys are trying to get your overall on all your teams, you know, offense, defense, and special teams to 99, you guys got to pick them up. And then these are the out of position. So Vernon Davis, cornerback, 97 speed. That's good. The rest of the stats is really good too, especially if you guys pull him. You guys will have an option. Keep him or sell him. We have a strong safety, Devin Hester, 98 speed. So he's probably one of the best and fastest strong safeties that, that you guys could pick up. That's a 96 overall. 97 man coverage, 98 zone coverage, and 94 hit power. Not bad, especially if you guys are running no money spent. And then out of position, Antonio wide receiver. Not the best, 97 speed, and 94 short, 95 medium, and 97 deep rat running. So with that being said, best player dropping tomorrow. Vernon Davis, Devin Hester. Take that back. It has to be Vernon Davis, Antonio Carmody, Devin Hester, and then... Or Steve McNair, and then finally it's gonna be Mike Verbal. My personal opinion. That's my ranking of the players dropping tomorrow. Now let's jump into the abilities and see what they get. Okay, so plain and simple, custom bucket number two will have all the free abilities that you guys would want. So tie down, what would I put? Personal opinion, put raw technician, short and elite, and the rest of the stats is all one AP. So all these players are gonna get all the abilities that you guys would want. Devin Hester, raw technician for one, invasive for one. Man, this guy's going to be really good. Especially, like I said, return man for zero AP. So one of the best kick returners and punt returners in the game. And you guys already see it, man. All of these players will get all the abilities you guys would want. Antonio Carmati, he gets what? Deep route KO for one. Mid zone KO for one. Show route KO. So what's he get for his free? Of course, free pick artist. Deep out zone KO for one. Wow. So his second ability bucket isn't the best compared to everybody else. It looks like all the abilities that you guys would want to run on him is 1 AP. Man, yeah, he doesn't have... Oh, yeah, he does. He has inside shade for 1 AP, so that's really good, especially in the slot. Steve McNair, 
What, Sefi lead for one, which is really good. Oh, either Gunslinger or Fearless for zero AP, you guys would pick. He has, once again, High Rat Master, Sefi lead. You guys need the quad. You guys need the quad abilities, right? For me, the meta for quarterback is Gunslinger, High Rat Master, Sefi lead. Those are the abilities you guys would want, plus Fearless. That's going to be the best one. And our final player is Mike. No outsiders for one, extra elite for one. Especially if you guys put these, your middle linebackers, right outside linebacker and left outside linebacker, or left end or right end. Be really good. Free ability, inside stuff, double or nothing. Double or nothing probably be really good. And lurker. I'm telling you, if you guys, if that quarterback is trying to throw the ball and the ball's in the air, and you have one of your defensive linemen either substituted there or just stock right end or left end, they have lurker, they're going to intercept the ball. But, man, this is really good. So, let me know your thoughts down below on the confirmed players. And like I said earlier, keep up to date with your collectibles. And check whenever you guys want a free player that will be, you know, auctionable. Either you guys want to flip it, make some coins, or keep it on the squad. Just check up on the set and your collectible. And I highly suggest to save it for the set. You guys could add it to other sets, try to get quick sell coins, but I don't suggest it. Let me know your thoughts down below on the confirmed players. And yeah, if you guys want to stay updated on future video, especially news on Mutt, make sure you guys follow the channel, show us some lovely comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one.